Don't let your roots get bogged down by skipping on this important inorganic amendment. Josh here. I've been growing fruit trees in the ground for 10 years and I've got hundreds planted. And one of the things that I learned is that you have to amend the soil based on the soil type. And one of the major problems with soil is that it gets really compacted. And when soil gets compacted, it can't get air into the soil, it can't get water into the soil, and the roots just can't breathe. They won't survive and they won't thrive. You need to put things into the soil that helps reduce it from getting and staying compacted. And so breaking up that soil with different soil conditioners, there's organic amendments, and we're talking about inorganic amendments, which are things that were never alive, things like rock, sand, um, volcanic rock. You might see things like perlite or vermiculite in the store. Now those are often used in potting soils, maybe not in large outdoor planting spaces, but you can use things like pea gravel or sand or Permatil is a really good one that's new on the market, and that's something that you can use over a lot larger space. And one of the really cool things, this is a neat little tip about Permatil, is if you've got gopher and vole problems, they won't go in the root zone if you're using Permatil. It's a volcanic material, um, a certain type of rock. It's very porous, and the gophers and voles will not be able or want to chew through it because it damages their mouths. So that's a good little tip for some inorganic amendments if you wanna take advantage of that. Um, for this tree behind me, this Arbuquina olive, I actually used a bunch of this, probably three or four shovelfuls of this pea gravel placed at the very base of it. And that's allowed the water to drain through. In fact, I did a test on it where I watered it and I can actually see, cause it's on a bit of a slope, how the water drained through when I planted it and it's done really well years later. It's probably up to eight feet tall. Keep in mind that inorganic materials really help with two things, okay? Two things, sorry, I got a lot of sand in my hand here. And that is um, aeration, right? Getting air into the soil and it helps with water drainage. So if you've got spots that are pooling, what you might wanna do is raise the tree up a few inches use some inorganic material, and that's gonna let that water drain down quickly so it's not pooling. You wanna make sure that you're not creating a pool of water or that tree's sitting in that pool because again, that's gonna cause the roots not to be able to breathe. In fact, I've killed an almond tree because I put it in a spot, I didn't raise it up, and water just pooled there all the time. It's a great lesson that I learned along the way. So make sure that you not only have good amendments, but that the tree is up enough. And sometimes you can do that on a little bit of a raised mound scenario. So three, four, six inches above the ground in a circle and that's going to give you the mound for those roots to be able to breathe and stay above that wet zone that you've got growing. So if you've got questions on growing fruit trees at home, you can always post them in the comments here. My goal is to give you so much value as part of this 20 day challenge. I really wanna see everybody get their home orchard started, but don't skimp on the inorganic amendments because they can be just as important as the organic ones. And the best part is, is that organic amendments you have to replace and replenish because they get fed, they get decompose, the tree will eat them. But inorganic, it's one and done. Once it's there, it's not going anywhere. So just keep that in mind uh, whenever you're planting your next fruit tree. And I'll see you in the next video on the challenge.